what's going on guys? Today I have a very unscripted unboxing and setup video of my brand new purchase of an ASUS VE248H. This is a 24 inch desktop monitor and I do already have two behind me. Uh, this guy right here to my left, your right, that's this exact model number. Whereas this guy uh, to my right and your left, that's a VW246H. I got that a year before I got this guy here. And I, want, I wanted to get another monitor because lately I've been wanting more productivity out of my computer. Going from one to two displays is fantastic, and I think going from two to three is going to be you know, that next step. Uh, for me, especially with all my school applications for my major, they all run on Windows. Unfortunately, I wish they had Mac versions. But so, you know, I have Parallels running on one monitor, and I still want to have two for OS X stuff, or maybe I can you know, have two displays and have one full, uh, you know, full screen of video or something like that, a podcast. So I've, I've really been wanting to get into that lately, and uh, this past Christmas, I, was, I got a uh, GTX 760 graphics card. There's an upgrade video coming very soon, and so that is able to drive three displays out of the box. So without rambling too much more, I'm just going to go ahead and unbox this guy and give you a, a quick setup. To, uh... So here we have the display, and here's the Hackintosh juice knife that you guys haven't seen in a very long time. And we're going to get started just by cutting this tape. And getting a little further into the box here. And right on top here we have the monitor. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take this out of the box, put it off to the side for just one minute. And here we have some more foam. I'm uh, going to put that out of the way. And now down here we have a couple more goodies. They do give us a, a little audio cable. You know, just uh, standard three and a half. Here we have a DVI cable. So very nice, they're including cables. Also a VGA cable, which you could probably guess I won't be using. Uh, my car doesn't support it. And uh, even if it did, I probably still wouldn't use it. And here we have the power cable. And last but not least, the base that you know props it up on the desk. I believe these are wall mountable, but uh, I would like to get a wall mount, but that's not in the foreseeable future. Maybe one day, who knows? Oh yeah, and of course, uh, we have the uh, ever so exciting uh, you know, user manual and VIP member notice. Uh, interesting, do I care? Not really. All right, now we're gonna take this fun stuff off here. And there we go. Look at it now because it'll never be that clean again. I think I'm a pretty clean person and like when it comes to my desk, my desk area. And even my monitors, they still get stuff on them. I don't even know how. But uh, yeah, this is the, the cleanest it'll ever look. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install this little base here before I you know take off the plastic wrap. Some people like to leave that stuff on, but me personally, I don't really care. It's gonna get dirty eventually. I'd rather have it you know look good. So uh, ASUS makes this very easy to install and I'll go ahead and give you guys a better shot of this. Now before I go mounting this on, I will take uh, this plastic off here. So, you know, there's that. Uh, I do believe that that'll be more difficult after the monitor's actually, you know, been screwed into place. So there's that. And now all we're simply gonna do here is tighten this thumb screw. On the other side of this, there's a little one of these guys and you literally just screw it into place. It, Asus once again makes this very easy. So uh, right here, as you can see, uh, actually hopefully you can see, there are two little arrows there. They are a little bit difficult to see, but uh, we're simply gonna slide those into place like that. And now we're gonna tighten the screw right into place. So hopefully you're an engineer with a PhD, otherwise you probably won't be able to figure this out. Now here's a pro tip. Whenever you get a new display, don't just set it up the way it's gonna go. Before you do all that, plug your cables in because this will really make your life easier rather than you know having a fish behind there, especially with something like a, a DVI cable. These can be a huge pain to have to you know install blindly. So then you end up having to pull your monitor back out anyway to you know plug your cables in. So I will be using DVI on this display. So there we go, pretty straightforward. So we're gonna, just gonna you know screw the DVI in. And now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side with the power cable. So right here, as you can see, uh, this is just a very standard power cable for you know a computer power supply. And uh, all we're gonna do is do that, plain and simple. So now that my cables are plugged in, I'm just gonna throw these guys behind my desk and get ready to plug everything in. Okay, so now if everything goes according to plan, I'm down here underneath the desk, you can't see me right now, but when I plug this monitor into its electrical outlet, I have plugged the monitor in via DVI, so uh, hopefully it should just come on. So three, two, one, here we go.
and we have a success, but as you can see, all the displays are mirrored. So now we just have to turn mirroring off and we'll have a successful triple display setup. Turning off mirroring in OS X is found within a displays portion of system preferences. After clicking the arrangement tab, unchecking the option to mirror displays will disable mirroring. It's really that easy. From here, you're free to move the displays around any way you'd like. It really is that easy to get a triple display setup on a Hackintosh, assuming you pick the right hardware of course. So there you guys have it. I hope you enjoyed the setup process of my new monitor. As you can see behind me, I do have it set up in a much more, you know, permanent way. I have the monitor spaced out right kind of centered around the little curve I have here in my desk. And as you can see behind me, this is probably the first of two major uses I have for three displays. Right now, I have kind of, a, if you can see it, kind of move my my big noggin out of the way, but I have you know, a Final Cut 10 slash uh, compressor workflow going. And for editing, that's huge because I can now dedicate a full monitor to my viewer, one to my timeline, and then on a third monitor, I can have compressor, I can see where my video is at exporting, or I can bring up you know Safari and drag images and things like that. Uh, it makes for a really awesome workflow. So that is the first use, but the second use I have is for school. A lot of my school applications do require Windows, so I can have parallels on one display, and then you know I can still have two for OS 10 to drag and drop content to and from different applications. So three monitors for me is a huge upgrade. Three displays really isn't for everybody. Even two displays isn't for everyone. But for someone like me, I think three is the sweet spot. Four, I think for me is starting to push it. It's kind of more unnecessary, but uh, I will definitely use three monitors on a daily basis. So for me, this was a very worthwhile upgrade. And for the around, you know, $190, $200 range for a whole new monitor, uh, I think that's going to pay off real fast. So be sure to let me know what you guys think about my new setup in the comments down below. Is three monitors something for you? Uh, do you have a, a graphics card that's capable of three monitors? If not, well, once again, post in the comments to see what good cards are out there. I'm at CPU Kid on Twitter. Also, be sure to check out RoadTechnology.com, and I'll be sure to see you guys very soon. Thank you.